Hi everyone, this is Karen Hightower. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I've got a card project I'm going to share with you. I'll be using the new Gina K Designs and ThermoWeb Autumn Wishes set. It is the part of the stamp and stencil sets that Gina K Designs has come out with. I will be using the tall tree today with the little leaves and probably the Autumn Wishes greeting. I also have um, a piece of layering weight card stock. It's cut at four by five and a quarter. I have a piece of black onyx that's cut just about an eighth of an inch larger. And then I have a piece of layering, uh, excuse me, heavy base weight that is cut at four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. I also have the coral reef, sweet mango, and wild dandelion inks. I have some masking magic that I'm going to use to mask off part of my card. And I have a strip cut at one and three quarters and one at one and a half. And the masking magic has this little split in the back, so it makes it easy to peel. And let's get this project started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that layering weight that is cut at four by five and a quarter. And I'm just going to place it in my Misty. And I'm going to take these layers here of the masking magic that I already pre-cut and I'm going to pull the backer off of it and I am going to place it right down here even with my misty up against the edge so I'm going to ink blend I'm going to do some wild dandelion first I believe and you could cut a circle for your sun if you wanted more of a definite sun. Um, I'm just going to ink blend these colors where it kind of looks like a sunrise. And I'm just going to blend out. I'm going to switch to my orange sweet mango. And this takes a few minutes to do, so you'll just want to keep on blending. So we're just going to keep blending. Then I'm going to go back with the yellow, grab some more of that ink, and I'm going to go in here and blend those two together. Okay, then I'm going to go back with some more sweet mango. Okay. Then I'm going to grab the coral reef, and I'm going to I'm going to use the bigger brush. I don't know where my medium sized brush is, but we'll just grab this big one. I'll go around on both sides and across the top. I just love these colors blended together. It makes me think of fall. It's been so hot, I'm ready for fall. Okay, so I'm gonna go back with some more of the sweet mango and add in here. Okay, and then when you let that set and all your inks dry, it will look a little different. Okay, so I'm going to scoot all that aside. And I'm going to pull this up. You can save these pieces and use them for later. So we'll let that dry for a little bit. And why it is, I will grab my Misty. 
and I'm going to grab this tree here, this long, tall tree. And we're going to place it right in the misty. And then I'm going to place this. I think I'm going to add this back to the bottom. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, let's see. It's got two purposes. It can hold it in place. Okay. But this way I can bring it down, my tree down just a little bit. So I make sure I get a nice crisp line across the bottom and I don't go over my area where I want it. Okay, so I'm going to grab the Amalgam Ink Obsidian and I'm going to ink this tree up. Now that this has all dried, you can see how it's more blended looking. So you have to give your ink a little time to dry. And I'm going to remove this. I'm just going to leave it sitting right here for now. I really like the little ones in this set because you can do little stuff really easy. So I'm going to grab Faded Brick. And I'm going to stencil the leaves on. And then I'm going to grab my Glitz Glitter Gel. How do I do that? Look, let's see if we can use our sand eraser. I should have used um, some tape and covered up that part of the stencil, but I didn't. But it's all right. So I want to grab my Glitz Glitter Gel. I'm going to put this back on, but I'm going to offset it just a tad. And I am going to grab some of my purple tape and I will mask this off so I don't get it where I don't want it like I did that ink just a second ago. Just in case I get wild with the glitter gel. I'm going to grab the sweet mango. Put it on here. Put the extra back in the jar. This is really nice. It adds just a little bit of sparkle to your card. And I see a spot that I smudged, apparently. My fingers had some black ink on them. So let me grab that sand eraser. Okay, now that the Glitz Glitter Gel has dried, then we can take and add our greeting. I'm going to do the little leaves over here like they're falling out of the tree we're going to do both of those in the greeting and the little leaves in the amalgam obsidian ink so i'm gonna let that dry a second because i can still see that it's wet so i'm going to add some adhesive tape runner to the back now i don't know if you know this when you use a tape runner you don't want to use it straight up and down you want to kind of hold it at an angle that way you get all the little adhesive dots off and it don't gum up in here so that's the final card project for today we've got the glitz glitter on the outside we've did a little masking and some ink blending and then we just stamped some leaves on the inside just to make it a little festive Thank you so much for joining me today, and you can find me over at KarensCreativeDesigns.com, on Instagram as Karen Hightower. Please subscribe to my channel, and you can find me on Facebook over in the Gina K. Designs Friends Group. Thank you so much, and have a great day. Bye-bye.